difficulty breathing. Oh God, save me, please. Save me from this, whatever it is. Oh, I am sick with you, but Corona. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with me. Uh, is it Corona, maybe? Or is it hypoxia? Uh, let me remove this mask. <sighs> Still, my, my, my hands are perspiring. I'm not feeling right. That there seems to be something wrong with these gloves, too. Uh, let me take them off. Take them off, take them off, take them off. <laughs> it's all over the news, man. So many people dying due to Corona. Uh, I, I, I think I need to call the emergency. Ring, ring, hello. Ring, ring, pick up, pick up, pick up, fast, fast. I think there's something serious that's happening to me. Please pick up. Ah, yeah, she's answering. Yeah, 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 please, please, there's something really wrong with me. Can, can you please uh, help me? Uh, I think I'm having difficulty breathing. I'm perspiring. Maybe I have fever. Uh, I'm having headaches. I, I don't know. Uh, there's something wrong with me. Maybe I'm not uh, please, 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 please. Yes, 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 I'm following. I'm following everything that the authorities are saying. Uh, in fact, uh, due to this lockdown, uh, I have locked up myself in my bedroom, in my dirty, stingy bedroom with the doors and windows closed. I don't even come out of my bedroom unless I have to pee. Uh, and, and, and I'm wearing the, this, this is mask uh, all the time, 24 by 7, even when I go to sleep. I'm wearing this mask and these gloves. But uh, I think there's something wrong with me. Please, somebody has to save me. I, hello, lady. Hello, please listen to me. Lady. Shh. She just hung up on me. And she said that people like me don't deserve 5G. What has 5G got to do with this? Is it the big brother that's watching me? Oh my god, I'm going crazy! Relax, guys. Uh, these are the aftermaths of watching too much of conspiracy videos during this lockdown while working from home. <laughs> so, hi, guys. I'm back yet again with episode 3 on my channel Indian Trifler Stand Up Comedy King Show. Let's move on. So, uh, let me put this straight to you. Are you one of those uh, seven <laughs> billion idiots or one of those idiots uh, who believe that uh, this virus COVID-19 is here to stay for long or maybe we'll have a second or third uh, wave of attack. Uh, by the way, who said it? I think uh, Froctor Dochi from who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Froctor Dochi from WHO. I, I think I'm, I'm right on that. And <laughs> are you people who believe that the digital ID 2020 vaccine, aka digital health certificate, is going to end this crisis? Who said that again? If I'm not wrong, it's Gil Bates at the speed of light. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't, 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 don't ever doubt my name. <laughs> and are you one of those dumbass sheepers who believe that the government cares, that is C-A-R-E-S, Cares Act, I heard that somewhere. Cares and they will praise that is T-R-A-C-E, again, another act. I don't know why they call that. <laughs> So the government will praise the vote of this virus also known as the current COVID crisis. If the answer is yes, then you better go back to watching your favorite sitcoms on the idiot box and watch stuff like the regular news and the speeches of your favorite leaders like Trump, Boris, Modi, Justin, whoever. <laughs> Else, continue with my show it sucks episode 003 now uh let's have a look at this uh pandemic what do they call it pandemic pandemic is also an anagram for in camp i am a c a m p e d in camp which literally means lockdown that is what is happening to the whole world like literally the whole world has been changed uh, turned into a jail sort of jail or a detention camp. So encamped is an anagram for pandemic. So I wonder who invents such words because uh, any such crisis used to be called as an epidemic um, during the years when I was growing up. 
uh, this pandemic kind of world is very new for me. I'm unable to adjust and digest. Uh, I'm not able to, you know, use it often or even understand what it means because I can only equate it to encamped. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> defense, such kind of words after all, guys. I think maybe the answer is who? Who? As in WHO? Who? <laughs> so, uh, let's get on with it. Uh, <clears throat> Now, I was just thinking, uh, and there's a lot of thinking that I'm doing these days, uh, along with this lockdown and work from home stuff. Uh, what if there was no connectivity, as in, you know, no internet? Well, then, of course, uh, you wouldn't be watching me right now, but thanks to the internet. <clears throat> but just think about it. Uh, has this uh, social distancing and uh, lockdown actually brought us all together? As in, you know, that reminds me of that old Nokia ad. <laughs> or has it done something opposite? Uh, because I, I can think of, uh, you know, back in the good old days, uh, one would bitch about one's <laughs> boss, one's colleague, one's partner. Maybe even the paper boy who wouldn't throw the paper right at, uh, you know, the right place if you know. Uh, or at the most one's neighbor who would have a loud barking dog or would play a loud music. That's, that's it. That's about it. That was all we would, uh, everyone would bitch about. But <clears throat> thanks to the social media, these days everyone's bitching about everyone else. And uh, right from your ugly looking face in the mirror to the state of the nation. Now everyone's got a voice, uh, but all we hear is just noise. Am I right or am I right? Uh, but that reminds me of my own quote. <clears throat> People like their own fart, but are allergic to someone's perfume. Ahem. Does that make them just like their fart? <laughs> That's for you guys to decide. So, uh, now that uh, we have come down to the level of fart, <laughs> let's talk a bit more about it. Uh, what if people were not referred to by their uh, born or natural names, natural given names? Uh, rather, if what if people were referred to by their uh, part? <laughs> How would the conversation go like? Uh, it would be uh, something like, Hey, Mr. How do you do? And the reply would be, Hello, Mrs. <laughs> Great as fuck. So, uh, stop, stop smelling uh, each other's part. Let's focus on this. Guess what would celebrities do? What would celebrities <laughs> know if they were referred uh, by the crowd? If they were John or Jim Carrey? <clears throat> what would Jim Carrey say? Hello, everyone. Welcome to the True Man <coughs> show. Uh, have a great fucking day. Let's go from the top. And uh, what if Tom Hanks? What if Tom Hanks uh, had a role in this fart? Probably people would shout to him, Fart, forest, come fart! Fart, forest, come fart! And he'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and uh, what would the Star Wars uh, fans do? What would they see on the screens? Yoda telling to Jedi, may the fart be with you. <laughs> <laughs> and how would the classical scene of the Matrix be? Morpheus would go something like this with Neo. There are two farts. The red <laughs> and the blue. <laughs> Which one will you choose? <laughs> Neo would go something like <coughs> In fact, it's a matrix of farts. <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> now that uh, it's too much of fart over here, so let's clear the air. Uh, since we're talking about these uh, celebrities, and in the last uh, three months, <coughs> I have uh, read across or seen uh, or heard in the media, I think more than 100 celebrities 
claim to have been infected with this coronavirus. <laughs> I have a very pretty short list, right from uh, the UK Premier Boris Johnson to the basketball star Michael Jordan to the Russian Premier Mikhail Nishutsin, uh, <laughs> to Wilson, uh, another basketball star Idris Elba, the Bond girl Olga Kurnikov. <laughs> And the list goes on. Amita Bachchan, the great superstar from India. So the list is ever increasing. <clears throat> so I, I think it's it's high time, guys, that we need to rename this virus. Maybe it should be called as the uh, Corona Elite Virus or the COVID VIP Virus or something. Uh, maybe there's something missing. And yes, uh, amidst all this. Uh, there was uh, once after Madonna claimed uh, to have been infected with the virus, uh, she tweeted something like, "This virus has been a great equalizer," <laughs> and to which, of course, there, she drew a lot of flack. And uh, uh, you know, there's this thing going on: the white and the black lives matter, and all this stuff. <clears throat> But then I totally agree with uh, what Corona meant. Uh, <laughs> uh, the thing is, it is definitely a great equalizer because uh, if you go by what the Tanzanian premier said, that he found in his laboratory testing that even goat and pawpaw were tested as positive, coronavirus positive. Uh, for those who don't know, goat is an animal and pawpaw is a fruit. So. Yes, I agree with Madonna because she can be equated with the Tanzanian goat and pow pow now. <laughs> right, guys? Now, uh, so far, so good. Uh, apart from the celebrity stuff uh, claiming to have uh, got corona or the COVID virus, uh, there have been quite a few uh, funny news clips, news articles that I've read. Uh, I have some of them with me here right now, so let me read it out. Uh, there was, uh, on Russia today, there was a headlines saying that Russian PM Mikhail Mishutsin tells Putin that he has coronavirus. Uh, I think I read this on Reuters or somewhere. So, <clears throat> my question is, it, come on, is that a disclosure or something? Yeah, as in, uh, Hey, you know, the, the, the Mikhail should say inside, turning to Putin, Putin, you need to know this. We can't share the bed anymore. <laughs> Lols. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> they, these news agencies write their headlines. It, it's sometimes quite crazy. Uh, I have a few, few more. Uh, <laughs> uh, in the same newspaper, one news was that Trump says Corona originated in a Chinese lab. While <coughs> the OCPM says that there is no evidence suggesting that it originated in China. So, uh, does that mean uh, US and Australia are at war with each other because of Corona or China, or, or is it getting complicated? I, I don't know. Sometimes I forget what, 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 what the news was about uh, when I watch news <coughs> <laughs> articles. <laughs> 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 And then uh, there was one uh, news about, of course, that was a fake news, of being uh, Kim, the, the North Korean uh, dictator, Kim Jong-un being dead. <coughs> now, from, if that were true, then what would happen? Only this thing can happen as far as Kim Jong-un is concerned. If Kim Jong Un contracts coronavirus, <laughs> then the lab that tested him for coronavirus shall be bombed and buried underneath. That's all that can happen <laughs> as far as Kim Jong Un is concerned. Now, uh, consider the Indian South uh, News to superstar Rajni Kant. Uh, for my Western friends who don't relate or who don't know who Rajni Kant is, well, uh, you can uh, think of your own self, uh, Chuck Norris. So what if Rajnikanth or Chuck Norris uh, get coronavirus? 
I'm sure, I'm pretty sure nothing is going to happen to either Rajnikanth or Chuck Norris, but in fact, coronavirus shall be quarantined. Right, guys? <laughs> Moving on, uh, some other news articles that I read uh, went something like, uh, I'm missing something here. Yeah, uh, that news was something like uh, the oil prices went negative dollar thirty-seven per barrel. Imagine <coughs> that this particular so-called virus and the lockdown has done brought down onto the nations and onto our economies. Now, probably. Uh, the way I look at it, you know, after watching so many conspiracy videos, well, it's kind of payback time for the giants like Rockefellers and Rothschilds, because you guys need to pay us for driving out there. <laughs> there is actually no one on the roads. And <clears throat> probably, you know, they smelled the foul. They understood this is what people are going to do. And that's the reason these guys have dramatically exited the oil and gas business and have heavily invested in the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, I'm not promoting any conspiracies over here because I'm a conspiracy theorist. Now, isn't that a paradox? It's for you guys to think. So, since we're talking about conspiracy theories, uh, uh, let's think what if uh, a few of these uh, celebrities and VIPs and elites get uh, corona? Say, for example, Trump. Trump. <laughs> Who actually build the wall, which I was going to see. Not this time, not at the border, but uh, around the White House, right? Uh, what if uh, Modi uh, gets corona? He'll probably uh, drink cow urine, uh, and maybe the cow uh, shall be quarantined, or, or maybe a temple will be built around the, 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 the cow, right? Uh, what if uh, Queen Elizabeth gets corona? I think uh, she will probably knight uh, the corona, that is, corona will be knighted and will be called as Sir COVID-19. <laughs> and uh, what about Ghislaine <laughs> Maxwell? You know, right, who's Ghislaine Max Maxwell? Or, or if you don't know, Google it. Probably Corona will commit suicide. And what if Bill Gates gets infected with Corona? That's a pretty deep one, deep question. I think he will inject microchip-based vaccine to poor kids in Africa and Asia. And But then I think he's actually been doing that already, right? So does it matter? How does it matter? Maybe that was a poor joke. But that was all dedicated to all the conspiracy <laughs> theories and <clears throat> taking ahead uh, this thing. Uh, what I can uh, sort of think of is uh, there was another virus, right? HIV. I mean, it's still there, right? So HIV covered um, penis. COVID has covered our mouth. Now God knows. What are they going to release to cover our sorry asses, right? Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Do Nothing. And just as my name says, I am here to tell you what not to do rather than what to do. I understand that during this <laughs> COVID-19 crisis, people are confused because they have to confirm uh, and obey and follow the authorities but they should also know how to take care of themselves so here's a list of <laughs> what not to do during the COVID-19 crisis number one when you're at your home or your office do not keep your doors and windows closed all the time you need to breathe in fresh air number two do not severe your contact with mother nature. You need to go out rather than staying at your home 24 by 7. Number three, 
keep your mind and body fit. Engage yourself into some kind of exercise, whether it is brisk walking or exercising at your home. Do not be lazy. And number four, do not be hooked on to the internet or TV or other media all the time because you can stay healthy only as long as your mind remains healthy. And number five, do not forget me, doctor, do nothing. And I'll be back again with some more, but I, uh, some more advice, sorry for the goof up. Maybe even I'm having uh, suffering from coronavirus, uh, but stay safe and keep smiling. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. So, uh, taking the story a bit uh, further, uh, only those who have taken the Hippocratic Oath but still don't follow the Nuremberg Code are gonna feel offended uh, by my jokes. Uh, <laughs> if you feel so offended by my jokes, then you probably need to change the <laughs> uh, So, um, <laughs> we are in terms of COVID-19 uh, if it means something like this, <clears throat> you know, uh, my grandfather was admitted for a coronary heart disease COVID-19 <laughs> infection. In fact, uh, my brother had a, a leg injury, leg surgery last week, uh, but he died of COVID-19 disease. Uh, what I came to know is my neighbor was suffering from narcissistic personality disorder and she had gone to a counselor for uh, her session, regular sessions, but died of COVID-19. So, uh, these are the kind of things that <laughs> are not good. These uh, things are affected from real news articles. And uh, that actually boggles my mind as to whether corona is really that dangerous or is it all just a kind of media scare uh, that's being created? And yes, I'm, I'm not uh, sidelining uh, the mainstream media, nor am I siding or moving towards uh, the conspiracy theorists. Uh, there is a great crisis the world over, and it's not the corona crisis, but it's uh, the economic crisis brought about due to the lockdown. So. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the show. This is a serious uh, crisis and uh, I still recommend we should all follow the advisories issued from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> keep counting your five. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao guys. <laughs>